Ho anche Kawasaki con le nuove colorazioni della ZH2 Bella SE Anche la Z900 bianca Oh, bellissima bianca La 650 che eh, dal, dal mitico motore Versys si è evoluta fino a oggi Bellissima, c'è anche la 125 ah, oh, Z650 RS una cafe racer con il controfiocchi con lo scarico basso molto bella e questa secondo me è il stile retro ah, tutto il suo perché poi abbiamo anche le versioni a turismo che sono sempre le solite versi 650 1000 che non cambiano mai eh, Kawasaki dai rinnovatevi ma quello che a me fa specie fa molto sangue guardate qua una versione flat track tutta special bellissima col telaio così verde guarda fantastico ecco, ditemi se non è bella questa questa qui è quella che piace noi thank you for that kind of jokes Mati San greeting everyone I'm Hiyoshi Toh President and CEO of Custom Motors Limited. To start, please allow me to express my sincere support for everyone. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We haven't got long today, so I've only got a chance to ask the guys one question each. So we'll start with you, Alex. So this was kind of like an apprenticeship year for you. Um, you had some tumbles and some injuries, but you also had a chance to get used to the Kawasaki racing team, get to know the guys in your pit crew. How's that preparing you for 2022? Yeah, I was going over all that. Uh, quite tough. But, um, yeah. I've got to my second year on the Kawasaki ZX10. My performance has been a lot better in terms of my speed. Unfortunately, I've had some injuries this year. Not been able to get the points in the championship that I wanted, but I'm really enjoying being part of the, of the Kawasaki family. And I know that next year, nice and healthy, I can, I can run up the front and, and challenge this guy. So I'm looking forward to 2022 already. Thanks, Alex. Uh, just a note to everyone, Kawasaki don't make microphones. Okay, <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> Thank you. In terms of your performance this year, you've tried from the very first race all the way to the end. And in fact, you won those last two races in Indonesia, new track for everyone. And you succeeded in winning those last two races. So how do you feel about going into 2022? Do you feel that there's a, a target on your back now? You know, I had um, such a, a great end to the season in Indonesia to, to win both races there, but just to fall shy of the championship has, uh, has made us even more determined to, to succeed in 22. Uh, our history with, with Kawasaki in the, the last six, seven years has been incredible, so I'm so motivated and excited to try and make um, 22 as exciting as, and extravagant as the, the previous years. Wonderful. Thanks, Jonathan. Now, just a quick photo opportunity with Mr. Ito before you leave the stage. Please. Now for our first global unveil for the 2022 season. Since 2007, Kawasaki has pioneered the Any Roads category with the Versus family of machines. First with the original Versus 650, then of course the Versus 1000. For 2022, we have refocused on the important middleweight sector with updates and new features for the highly popular Versus 650. Now with a direct cross-family look, thanks to a Versus 1000 style upper cow, more rideability due to the adoption of a two-stage KTRC traction control and greater functionality courtesy of a new screen 
and screen adjustment system. We are now proud to unveil the new 2022 Versus 650. We are near the end of our time together today and Kawasaki would sincerely like to thank you all. In 2022 we will launch the most advanced sports tourer ever conceived, matching incredible performance and dynamic abilities with a rider aid package that is industry leading and truly state of the art. Based around our balanced supercharged engine unit, we will launch the first radar sensor equipped machine from a Japanese manufacturer. The Bosch Aris Advanced Rider Assistant boasts forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control with automatic speed regulation, and blind spot detection. The new machine is the first to feature Kawasaki Spin, an onboard infotainment system. That's all from me, so ladies and gentlemen, to conclude our ICMA presentation, Kawasaki is proud to unveil the 2022 Ninja H2 SX. Eccola qua, direi che nella colorazione bianca, gris, così grigia e nera merita anche di più che verde. Poi i gusti sono personali, ma mi sembra più una merita. Bella, bella, bella. Eh, è una moto che ha dominato il successo per anni e devo dire che se la gioca bene. Ora non è il segmento che va molto perché vanno molto le maxi enduro, però sta tornando in auge il Sport Touring, per cui direi che... Kawasaki entra proprio lanciata, bellissimo il musetto così con affilato, col beccuccio, e, oltre ad essere dinamico è anche molto molto bello. Qua la versione nera della Versi, sempre. Ah, hanno nascosto le peculiarità, eh, furbetti. Bella. Quindi, dai, come è tutto anche per questo video sulla Kawasaki, a voi la linea, ciao!